Yes, you can safely charge smaller devices with po high power output devices like this anchored 65 watts. 61 watts Apple original charger. 65 watts previous gen anchor. 65 watts nano 2. Look at the size difference. Let's test the chargers on these three devices, the iPad Pro with M1 chip, 11 inch, iPhone 11, and MacBook Pro. To establish the baseline, I'm gonna use the MacBook Pro included uh, charger with the power meter. Let's see the power consumption reading. Forty watts. By the way, my MacBook Pro is also connected to that portable monitor on the backboard uh, using the Type C connection. It's currently at two percent. I drained the battery all the way down, and it automatically automatically shut off. 58 watts. Okay, I think that is the highest power draw I can possibly get. Let's switch over to the Anchor 65 watts Nano 2. I think this is the latest pack. 58. By connecting the power adapter, it does not drain any power. Fifty. Usually, it may take a while to reach the peak power output. Yeah, 57. Uh, I, I believe we got the 58 on the Mac on the MacBook original charger. All right. I also got the previous gen right here. Let's take a look. I think we may get the same result. We got 56.9, very close. The difference is so small, they should be considered equivalent. Let's try the MacBook Pro with M1 chip. It is currently at 54%. Again, it may take a while to reach the peak wattage output. Currently, I'm doing this. The Anchor previous gen is charging the MacBook Pro from 2017, 13 inch. According to the Apple spec, the iPad M1 chip, iPad Pro 11 inch will take 30 watts. And this is exactly what we're hitting, 30 watts. So again, the conclusion is it's okay to use the high power output devices like this one uh, to charge your lower power consumption devices because the input limit is really set at the device level. It is not set at the, you know, it will not do full power output 
if connected to a smaller device, it will throttle that power input. So it's okay to use the Anchor charger to charge across all your Apple devices or your Android phones, as long as the support power delivery shouldn't be a problem at all. My iPhone 12 is at 74%. Lightning cable to Type-C. Let's take a look. It may take a while to reach the peak charging output. So I would recommend using a charger like this for iPhone charging uh, because it doesn't even have to work as hard as these tiny chargers, right? Uh, this is at 10 watts. If the state of charge of my iPhone is lower, I believe this one would hit 18 watts. It is not uncommon to see that. So it is totally fine to use it uh, to charge iPhone. Yeah. Look at this um, size. It is incredibly small. Amazing. Compared to the original, this one is rated at 61 watts. You can also use this one to charge the iPhone. Let's take a look. Yeah, 75% charged up 1%. The same result, around 11 watts. Right, I hope you find this review helpful. Thank you very much for watching. See you guys next time, bye.